One afternoon, my wife calls me at work. She says to me that our yard was taken over by a bunch of bees. I said, what? She said, bees. A swarm of bees has taken over our backyard, and it looks like something out of the movies. I said, cool. When I got home, the swarm was no longer flying around. My son pointed out that the swarm had landed on a tree branch. Fearing for our children's safety, my wife insisted that I call a bee exterminator immediately, which I did. The bee exterminator said, it's swarm season. Leave the bees alone and they'll go away. Or pay him $500 and he'd come take the bees away. Or that we should use warm soapy water and spray the bees dead. I said, thank you and hung up. Later, over a cocktail, I was talking about this with our neighbors. My Greek neighbor insisted that the bees were harmless and that we should collect the bees. I said, for what? For the honey, bro. So minutes later, we're in the garage building a bee box. We built a box out of scrap wood that I had just laying around. And by the time we were done, it looked like we knew what we were doing. The next thing you know, we're outside in the dark trying to collect the bees. You gonna nail that to hold it or anything? You see it in your foot? That's all bees. That ain't a nest, that's all bees. I don't know about that. Looks like... That's bees, man. They're everywhere. Bees there. Oh, I didn't count them, but a lot. Probably at least 20. See, look at us. <laughs> look at them. Oh, they're moving out. Yeah, there. That's it? There you go. Dude, they're moving like a f***ing brothel. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Demetri, you're a f***ing genius. You're the Greek genius. Awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get the f***ing shit. So, here we are the next day. And I think what the plan was the night previous was to let the bees traveled down the stick and into the box. Now, the stick was coated with honey, so we thought maybe they would just kind of travel down and find their way into the box where they would be comfortable and start making their uh, home. But that's not what happened. So what he did was he took the stick <laughs> and gently laid it on the swarm of bees in the tree, hoping that they would stick to it. And when they did, he would lower it down into the box give it a little shake and the bees would fall off into the box. How well do you think this worked out? Keep watching. Here, you're starting to see some of the bees that had fallen off when he was trying to move them front with the stick, and they're just kind of flying around the box. But watch what happens when you mess around with a swarm of bees just hanging out, minding their own business. So I'm going to fast forward through this because I'm pretty sure you get the idea that he does this multiple times using the stick to get the bees onto it and to bring them down and get them into the box. But inevitably, something happens.
he's pretty sure that the queen bee is still up there. So he's going to use a little more syrup to kind of distract the bees, if you will, and kind of keep them occupied with going after the syrup and not really paying attention to being dropped into the box. Remember, the whole goal is to get the queen in the box so the rest of the bees will follow her. Let's take a little break, visit with the kids, have a smoke, and let the queen bee do what she does. And all of a sudden, wait for it, boom the swarm happens and just like that thousands and thousands of bees are flying all over not just in the backyard but over the top of the house in the front yards and dimitri my greek bee charmer just stands there literally for an hour as these bees all flock to that box So I put the camera down, went, grabbed the kids, got them in the house, because look, they may not be stinging the bee whisperer here, but I don't know. I worried about the kids with that many bees. So anyway, we all went inside, and uh, ultimately, when it was all said and done, every single bee went inside of that box. Except for that one.